Hello, hello, hello. Uh, good evening, and welcome to uh, RSF1. I cannot hear my voice, so what's happened here? Hello, hello. Right, this is coming through. Okay, my end. You can hear me. Well, why can't I hear myself? Ah, that's why I can't hear myself. Because I had the Twitch video muted. <laughs> Never mind. We got there in the end. I'm out for a couple of weeks and I turn into an idiot. I am back now. Welcome to Season 10, F4 Round 6 at Imola. Hope you're all doing well. So we've got some people in the chat already. Hello, Skull Kid. Hello, Dan. Dan, 60 FPS as well. At the moment, we have Rogue and Stars on an outlap. Oh, how has he got an EA thing next to his name? Mr. Neon. What, are you, what have you done to do that? Rogue is coming out on mediums. Stars on softs. Maybe we'll watch stars for this. But anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a good Thursday. We're nearly at the end of the week. Which means the weekend is coming up soon. Oh, nothing gets past me, eh? EA is PC, is it? Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. Thank goodness Patronus is here. I've got another advert at my end. It's a long advert. I see. Right. We're going to ride on board with stars, actually, because... Oh, that's an interesting camera angle. That's a really interesting camera angle. I don't think I like that. Stars getting the car up to a decent pace. We'll just compare it with Rogue first, actually, and see what times we're looking at. Also, so an Alfa Romeo, which is Kabuki, coming up soon. So we've got a 24.4 and a 24.5, so he's actually slower. Oh, who's lost? Is that Rogue? No, it's not Rogue. It was... Uh... Ooh, what about that line from Kabuki? Oh, he's quite slow there, Kabuki, I thought. 24.6, that's the slowest anyone's been. Adam is on an outlap. There's a Mercedes, which hopefully is MT. It is MT. Let's see what MT can do. I have a feeling MT is probably going to go fastest here. He does. 24.3 is the time to beat for now. There's an Alpine coming up. Is that quick mick? And it's Skull Kid, and I missed his time. There's a Williams coming too, which is Rage Quit. He's on a 24.2, so that is the fastest so far. Days is back. He's on an outlap, though. There's another Alpine. That's Quick Mix starting his lap. So 24.2 is the time to beat so far. Stars Orphan does a 117.1 and goes faster than anyone. I guess Rogue invalidated somewhere. Quick Mix, he does a 24.6. That says it's fastest, but it's not. Uh, Immortal is on medium tyres. Kabuki puts up the fastest lap so far, but I still do think it's going to be... Oh, I can't remember if it was. MT. Probably MT. Immortal does a 24.5. We've got a uh, we've got Rage Quick coming along. Let's see what time he finishes with. It's a 16.4. It's nearly the fastest time, but MT is the fastest so far. Rogue, he's invalidated again. Quick Mick on the medium tyre. That's a 50.9. Oh, that's an invalidation right at the end. That wasn't very good. Mr. Adam Moore. There are a lot of cars on the medium tyre. Immortal is uh, a couple of turns away from crossing the line. It's all stay on board with Immortal. See how we get on.
It's a 116.9 for Immortal, so these medium tyre runners not going great. I'm not too sure what Rogue's going to be doing here. Old Manzi. Oh, there's an Alpine. Is that Skull Kid? Yeah, that is Skull Kid. Old Manzi getting. Oh. Was, it, was he blocked off? Oh, it's a little bit. Skull Kid's not really done himself many favours. I'd imagine this is an in that. Old Manzi, we get in trouble for that. We'll ride on board with Old Manzi. Just checking the standings quickly. So, need to get all the way down to Div 4. It is still Old Manzi, the championship leader. Immortal, Quick Mick, and Rogue up there too, but Old Manzi is somewhat running away with it at the moment. It does seem to be every time I commentate, Old Manzi's races don't quite go to plan. We'll be looking to break that curse today, I'm sure. Um, yeah, Grave Digger and Rage Quit are a little bit further behind. I'd say the championship is going to be played out between the two McLarens, Rogue Immortal, Quick Mick and the Alpine, Old Manzi and the Red Bull. I thought Stars Orphan might be doing better than he's done as well, but maybe Stars a little bit like me, and that this game doesn't quite suit him as well as 22 did. I think I might be the only person who was better at 22 than this one. That's a nice line from Old Manzi, and this is looking quick. This could be a P1. Oh, it's not. It's a P4. It's actually slower than Rogue, who I think did that on mediums. That just Make sure, yeah, Rogue did that on three lap old mediums, so... Rogue only being point three behind MT and Rage Quit. He's putting... He's putting his, uh... His shopping stall out there, as it were. Right on, and Rage Quit goes fastest with a 116.1, and that is very wide, but it's not an invalidation from DTYT5091. That was an invalidation, though. Oh, uh, Mr. Neon on the computer on the medium tyre. I always sort of think if someone's on the computer, they might be, they might run away with it. We're going to see what Mr. Neon can do here. Let's see if there's got this steering wheel that might give us an indication of how fast he was going through the other sectors, but it doesn't quite look like it. It does look quite fast, though, on this medium tyre. He's done a 117.2, so not that fast. Daniel P45 in the other house, he is doing something. There was no invalidations. I'm not too sure where Daniel P45 is going so slowly. Smurf is about to start his lap, so we'll just ride on board with Smurf. There's a Hass in the way, but he gets out of the way nice and quick. And Smurf coming into... Ooh, I thought that might have been validation there, and even on the exit, but he's done well to keep everything nice and tidy. Not quite as tight as I'd like it going on that corner, but he's come out nicely from it. Tower getting well out of the way. That could be. Ooh, you did well to keep that in between the lines. And he put a touch, touched a wheel on the grass there, but not looking too shabby at all. Coming through here, we're about to see what time he's going to put into sector two. It is a 51.2. It hasn't gone purple. I'd imagine Rage Quits probably put in a very fast time, believe it or not. Uh, which is probably why that hasn't gone purple. Um, we are going to see what Smurf can do. Coming up to the final turn. DRS on. And it's a 117.2, so it's not a great lap from Smurf and the Ferrari. Quick Mick on the mediums. He is coming for his lap now. Doesn't look like he's underfueled, so he might be carrying a little bit of weight. We're going to ride on board with Quick Mick because he has come into. Rogue is a sandbagger. Clearly. But he's not the championship leader, though. Quick Mick has managed to save five seconds on his time already. But that would only put him at 121, so I imagine it's a little bit... a little bit more time <laughs> to shave off. 
Oh, I thought that might have been invalidation there, but he keeps it nice and tidy. I really like this turn. It's a really fun one, but I think he's broken a little bit too early for my liking. That car is going to be right in the way, and that car, the Alpha Tauri. I think Days. Let's just check. Oh, was it Days? No, it wasn't Days. Quick Mick has managed to get seven seconds off his time now. Which sees him at a 119 sort of area, but I think we're going to see a 118, probably 117.5, I reckon. Oh no, I'm well off. 116.6. And that is. P4 for Quick Mick, who is looking very quick, and he actually goes faster than Rogan. I think he's the fastest car on mediums. He is the fastest car on mediums, so Quick Mick and TYG Rogue looking very good here. Old Manzi has gone slower on soft tyres. Old Manzi does have a lot more race pace than qualifying pace, though, and that is a lot more important. Uh, a lot of the cars are in the pits at the moment. We've got Kabuki. I'm not too sure what Kabuki's going to do here. Probably bring it in. Yeah. Oh! Hiccup caught me out. Brick Grit might be the only car on track at the moment. He's just under 25 0, which isn't the bet. Oh, God. I keep getting caught out with hiccups. This is awful. How unprofessional. Um, how will Brick Grit take this to. Ooh, yep. <laughs> a little bit too enthusiastically is how Brick Grit's going to take that turn. And that will be an invalidation from Brick Grit. I don't know if he's going to go again. I think Quick Mick is going to be bringing it in as well. We can't see how long it's left in the session because of how slow some of these cars are going. Uh, at the moment, we've still got Daniel P45, Days Freak, Dark Shadow, Brick Grit, and Gravedigger who all need to do a lap. But Daniel P45 is on an out lap. Brick Grit is going to try and charge that battery back up as much as he can, or is he just going to bring it in and go again? I think Brick Grit is going to just... He's going to go again. ERS has been turned back on. DRS online. Here we go. It's attempt number two for Brick Grit. That is a Alpha Tauri again. And it's the same Alpha Tauri that keeps getting in the way. It's DTY Tim. He's not really in the way. But it's the same Alpha Tauri we keep seeing. He just wants to be on the limelight, on the stream. I'll watch his lap next one, so that he can stop getting in the way of everyone. <laughs> Brick Grit keeps things nice and tidy. Oh, I forgot to check his sector one time. But it does look like that Alpha Tower is sticking with him. I don't think it's going to be incredibly quick from Brick Grit. We might have a little look at Daniel P45, see what he's doing when Brick Grit has finished. Can Brick Grit keep it? Oh, he's gone very slow there, Brick Grit, as to not invalidate, which might prove costly. I would be maybe looking at a 118 sort of area for Brick Grit here. He's not looked blisteringly quick, and he's going to be running out of DRS at a very important time. That DRS battery is getting very low. That wasn't a bad line from Brick Grit, although I think he's broken a little bit too early again. That was a nice exit, and he's kept things... Oh, Brick Grit, you silly sausage. He's messed it up right at the end. The Daniel P45 does a 24.6, so he is looking on course to be around stars, I think, with the 120... Uh, yeah, whatever number I just said. So we could be looking at a middle of the pack here, maybe getting near his teammate as well in the Haas. we also got DTYT who's on a lap. We'll just see what he's... Staying out on mediums. Even though things are getting quite towards the end. He's done a 124.5. So that's a little bit faster than Stars. He might try and slot himself between Immortal and Stars. Daniel P45 is about to cross the line. We'll see what he does on his soft tyre. Soft compound. Daniel P45 puts up a respectable-ish 117.5 and DTYT has managed to actually gain some time. He's he's not going to... I think he's, there's been a little bit of a mistake in here somewhere. Skull Kit Rogue has retired, so Rogue has, I think, a lot of... Oh, I think Smurf might have gone a little bit prematurely. Smurf trusting that Carrot 
Daniel, DTYT and Skull Kid aren't going to get any time off. Skull Kid is surely going to get time off of, Time off here. We're going to see what Skull Kid can do. I'm not sure about that line. Maybe it's actually a really good line. I'm making myself seem like an idiot. But it's a 118.3 from Skull Kid. So he is still driver in danger. He needs to get that battery charging and go again. Days Freak, Dark Shadow, Brick Grit. Oh, Brick Grit is coming out now. Gravedigger is coming out now, but Dark Shadow and Days Freak need to come out and do a lap. Smurf, I think it might be okay. Oh, there is a stationary Red Bull. I was worried one of them. I think it's yeah, it is Old Manzi. I don't know why Old Manzi's coming out again. Doesn't mean anything coming out now. Oh, Gravedigger losing it a little bit. Oh, it's an outlap. <laughs> it's an outlap. <laughs> We've got Brick Grit, who's also on an outlap. We've got Skull Kid, who's doing his actual lap. But, oh no, he's up on his time. So I think Skull Kid's in deep trouble. DTYT is coming out. Carrot is on an out. Carrot is starting a lap now. We might ride on board with Carrot. Oh, that's an invalidation from Carrot. We won't bother with Carrot, we'll stay with Gravedigger. Gravedigger, who is one of the better drivers. So it might be more... Might be better to stay on with Gravedigger, seen as uh, Brick Grit, Shadow and Days Freak are all on their outlet. I think Skull Kid's in trouble, I think DTYT might be in trouble, and I think Carrot's in trouble too. Daniel P45 and Smurf may have jumped the gun a bit early, because Days is quite fast. Shadow's quite fast and Gravedigger's quite fast. Quick Mick has retired up in P4. I think Rage Quit's going to be okay to retire as well. 116.1 of that Williams. That was a brilliant time. He needs Brick Grit to try and get his car into P2 here, uh, Q2 here. Oh no! Gravedigger, what have you done? Gravedigger might be out in Q1. At this point, Gravedigger, it's not about getting it fastest, it's just about putting a lap up. You're going to have to go again. We're going to ride on board with Brick Grit, see if he can actually post a time as well. That looked better than his previous attempts at that corner, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise that he uh, messed up the other two. He goes 52 seconds dead, entering Sector 2. That's a much better line from Brick Grit. I'm a big fan of that. I like that, Brick Grit. Keep up the good work. Brick Grit might be on to be able to save himself. I think surely this will be better than Skull Kids 118.3, but then it's just a matter of what Days Freak, Dark Shadow, and Gravedigger do. Can he do go better than Carrot, DTYT, and Skull Kid? If he can get above Daniel P45, he's going to be even better off. Brick Grit keeping things nice and tidy as we come across to cross the line. It's a 117.9. He's just about safe for now. We've got Days Freak coming into Sector 1 on a 24.7, that's about a Mr. Neon Smurf sort of area, so at the moment he is going to be doing better. Uh, we'll, ride, we'll stay with Gravedigger for now and see if he can keep everything nice and tidy coming. Uh, not invalidate, which is the most important thing, you just need to make sure you keep it on the track. It's 53.1 for Gravedigger, which I think is 0.9 up on what... Brick Grit did, so we could be looking at a low 117, maybe on a 116, looking at around an Immortal, Mr. Adam Moore sort of time, probably slotting between Adam and Rogue, if we can keep everything nice and tidy. I'm uh, not, a, not a, a huge hater of that line, I'm a big lover of that line, that was nice, good bit of traction from Gravedigger as he crosses the line, he goes P17, oh my goodness, I was completely wrong with that. So at the moment, Brick, oh, Brick Grit's out. Dark Shadow goes fastest, Days Freak gets himself out of the drop zone, which means that it's DTYT, DC80 Brick Grit, Skull Kid and Gravedigger, who are all out. I think Daniel P45 and Smurf might have been getting... Oh, what happened there? I think Daniel P45 and Smurf might have been getting a little bit worried. Um... As uh, time went on, is there any? No one's on a lap. Old Manzi's just bringing the car in. I don't know why Old Manzi bothered going out. But he put up a slightly better time, but it's not just F1 cars that make use of the Italian circuit, as there is several events that have been hosted here. The World Touring Car Championship and Motocross World Championship. And there we have it. The end. 
of Q1. Dark Shadow goes fastest with 115.6. And the Alfa Romeo. Looking very quick. Uh, I think a, a lot of it has to do with some of the faster drivers, like Rogue, Mick and Immortal going on medium tyre. Uh, old Manzi manages to put up a respectable 116.3. He's not looking too slow either. Um, Dark Shadow, though. He's only got seven points in the Drivers' Championship, so that is a little bit unexpected to see him so high. I will be back momentarily. Um, hopefully, whoever it puts on default going into Q2 is spectatable. I think it's more interesting to watch the end of qualifying uh, than the beginning, so I'll be back in a second.
I am terribly sorry, but I am back now, and it looks like that the default spectator thing was on the right car to be spectating by default, because TYG Rogue has just put up the fastest lap. I had a crap... Oh, crap lap. I thought you said I had a crap lap. Oh, goodness. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> the Skull Kid saying he didn't have the best of laps. We've got stars. Oh, why is it... I swear this has zoomed in even more. Maybe it hasn't. Well, stars has messed it up anyway. Uh, Mr. Neon is next. What can Mr. Neon do? He enters sector one. So 24.1, that's quite a decent time actually for Mr. Neon. He might be able to get himself up with Rogue and Immortal. I will also be keeping an eye on what Dark Shadow can do. And he's he's invalidated. Old Manzi is next. And this will be Old Manzi's actual lap, I think. And it's a 24.7 for Old Manzi, so... I don't think we'll bother watching that one. Mr. Adam Moore is on mediums. We'll just see if anyone stayed on the mediums. Uh, two people, actually. Rage Quick, Quick Mick, Kabuki and Adam. That's very quick for Rage Quit to be able to get that time on mediums. He's still on his mediums. I think this is an in-lap, though. Days has a 17.6. Stars are in the car bought in. It's a shame Mr. Neon invalidated because he was looking fast. Is Rogue going again? I think Rogue might be going again. Why is... Oh, dear. Oh, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, there's an Aston Martin coming as well! What are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Adam Moore. I think that's an in-lap, so I think he's going to be okay. Is that Daniel P45? No, it's not. It's... Uh, I've lost the last. It's Mr. Neon. Short. I think this is a... All down up for Mr. Neon. Rage Quit is going for another go on the mediums. I don't think we need to. You're not going to get much faster with your mediums, especially with that time. Unless he's only just put that one up. That is more. That is probably entirely more possible. Um, who's actually doing a lap, chaps? Mr. Neon, maybe? No? I don't think anyone's doing an actual lap. Doesn't seem like it. He's invalidated, so we don't care. Rage Quit is 0.6 up on his time already, so I don't think he's really doing anything. I think this is a cooldown. Old Manzi hasn't got any ERS. And he's not giving it everything on the accelerator. Adam might be... Adam's bringing it in. I think Mr. Neon... Mr. Neon's probably about to start a lap, but that is... A low bit of... That's low fuel. Is he bringing it in? He's bringing it in. Well, Smurf is about to start his lap. So we're right on board with Smurf. We've got Stars who's on an out lap too. Not too far behind. And here we go for Smurf. Oh, I'm not too sure about that line from Smurf. He didn't seem close enough to the left side of the track for my liking, but he's recovered okay from it. It's a 24.7 from Smurf, so it's not going to be anything mind-blowing. He'll probably sit between Kabuki and Days. We've got Starzu's coming out as well. Just going to try and keep an eye, an eye on everything. And that was nearly an invalidation from Smurf, but he manages to keep it safe. There's a 51 dead. Stars, Stars, a 24-9. That's slow from Stars Orphan. I don't think a 51 dead is too bad, though, for Smurf. We might get higher than Kabuki and... Um... Yeah, I said sit between Days and Kabuki, I think, tonight. We might even be able to get higher than Kabuki and maybe sit around Adam and 
mech sort of level. We'll see what Smurf can do. It's a 116.9, so it is the fastest of all of the 116.9s that we've had. Only six thousandths of a second. Stars is a 51.6, so I think he's point, yeah, point six down on Smurf. So we could be looking at 117.5. This should be a lap that sits between Kabuki and Days for Stars. As Stars is about to cross the line. And he does a 117.6, so he sits just behind Days Freak. And he's still in the drop out zone. Mr. Neon is coming out of the pits. Dark Shadow is going to give himself one go at it. Kabuki! What is this? This is an in lap, isn't it? Smurf is on an in lap. Days is on an actual lap. He's managed to get 1.1 seconds off his time. This is looking good for Days Freak. He does a 116.2, that's a great lap from the American driver. Oh, quick mix, a little bit untidy coming out of that. TYG Rogue, still the man to beat. The two McLarens looking very fast. Old Manzi and Stars Orphan not quite able to reply. It's a 124.5 for Quick Mix, so he's managed to get 1.1 off, of, uh, off of his second, not 1.1 off of his time. Oh, I'm having a nightmare today with the English language, aren't I? 1.1 off of his second is the sentence that I said before I corrected myself. Fantastic. Oh, that looked like it might have been a little bit close to the limit, but he's actually taken that really well, has Quick Mick. It's a 50.6. I think this is the fastest we've seen. And he's invalidated. I'm fuming. I am fuming, Quick Mick. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm actually really angry at that. Daniel P45 is invalidated as well. Mr. Neil. I like his... Oh, I don't like that. That's not too bad from Mr. Neil. That's very nice from Mr. Neon. I like this. I'm a fan. I forgot to check what his sector one time was because I was so enthralled with what he was putting up for us. What are we going to get? We are getting a 50.6. That is the fastest time so far, according to thing and I know that I'm pretty sure that's faster than what Days did and Days did 116.2 so Mr. Neil might be able to put this Haas in P1 and then he's chilling for the rest of qualifying Old Manzi and Smurf are on an outlap I don't think the McLarens need to go again I don't think Days needs to go again I don't think Rage Quit or Kabuki need to go again everyone else maybe it's a 116.2 from Mr. Neil so a little bit disappointing in Sector 3 although it does say he's gone Fastest in Sector 3, but I thought we were on for a little bit more than what he's shown us. Dark Shadow, still no sign of it. Daniel P45 has also put up a very quick lap. So both Haas drivers are looking good. Immortal does retire the car. Rogue is going for another out lap for some reason. Or he's going for another lap, rather, for some reason. And P45 doesn't go over the white lines. I was worried he might have done. And it is a 116.2 for Daniel P45 just behind his teammate. So some good times here. Quick Mick, Adam in danger. MT's in a little bit of danger. we got old Manzi. Oh, I forgot to check his time, but it says it's gone purple. He's going to ride on board with old Manzi for the rest of his lap. This feels so zoomed in. I really don't like it. It's making me want to be sick. Old Manzi is about to cross the line. It's a 15.9 for Old Manzi. It's the fastest lap of the session. And the championship leader showing why he is the championship leader. I think Neon and Daniel are bringing their cars in. Kabuki's on an outlap. Rage Quit is coming out of the pits. Dark Shadow is on an outlap. 
Well, he's had to get his tyres all grassy, though. Carrot on a 118 dead. That's not a great time for Carrot. We'll just see if Carrot can get anything out of this. We're going to pay more attention to the drivers at the bottom now than the drivers at the top. So we'll be keeping a bit of an eye on Quick Mick. Brick Grit Stars, Adam Smurf. Carrot is going to be the first. And Carrot needs to get off of this. 118. Carrot needs a big improvement coming into... This, uh, this is going to be the last chance, I think, for Carrot. I'm not too sure how long's left in the session. It's a one. Oh, it's slower for Carrot. It's a bad time. Quick Mick. He's invalidated. MT the Mighty is the next car to cross the line. And MT the Mighty, I think, is going to... Yeah, he's chilling. 116.1. He goes P4. Oh, Banzi's had a penalty for a collision with Dark Shadow. Does Dark Shadow have damage? Oh, yeah, Dark Shadow's got damage and has retired the car. I'm not too sure what happened there. Mr. Neon puts in the fastest lap. Dark Shadow, after going fastest. I'm not sure what's happened. Quick Mick is about to cross the line. I'm just seeking some help from the Commons team. Uh, it's a 116.3, so Quick Mick just about gets himself through, which means Smurf is out. Can Adam save himself? He's 0.6 up on his time, so Mr. Adam Moore might not. Quick Mick out. Back again. Stars is out. Adam doesn't do enough. I thought a 116.3 would have been plenty of time. We're losing Adam. We're losing Smurf. We're losing Stars, and we're losing Carrot. And there, look how close it is between Kabuki and Adam. There is nothing in that. So, anyway, Mr. Neon goes fastest. I'm, I don't know what the incident was between Old Manzi and... Um, I've forgotten his name. Dark Shadow. But we've got Mr. Neon at the top, then Old Manzi, then the two McLarens, then MT, then Daze, then Daniel, then Kabuki, then Rage Quit, then Quick Mick. And we lose Mr. Adam Moore, Smurf, Stars, Emotive Carrot, and Dark Shadow... Dark Shadow, who was fastest in um, in Q1, I think only giving himself one one go at qualifying has sort of uh, come back to haunt him on this occasion. Here comes TYG Rogue.
It looks like Rogue is going to be the only man on track so far. No, here comes an Alpine of Quick Mick. There we go, get a different camera angle. Sorry, just trying to uh, sort out this issue that happened with Old Man Z and um, Dark Shadow. And anyway, let's focus on Q3. We'll leave the drama of Q2 behind us. We're just going to have to accept that Old Manzi does have a penalty so far. So it is going to be Old Manzi, followed by Quick Mick, followed by Kabuki, and then Immortal, and then MT the Mighty. And we'll have a look at the front five for now. The Hass uh, of Mr. Neon and Old Manzi's Red Bull is a little bit further behind. But we're going to try and compare everyone's sectors like we usually do and see if we can get a good indication of who is putting up the best lap. Well, so far it's a 24.2 for TYG Rogue, so not the best. Quick Mick. Oh, Quick Mick doesn't look too quick here, but it's a 24.6 for Quick Mick. Kabuki, he does a 24.2, so I think Kabuki is fastest so far. We're going to see Immortal, who's usually a little bit faster than his teammate. Immortal does a 24.2 as well, so things are looking quite close here. And now we've got MT the Mighty left, who's on 24.1. So at the moment, MT the Mighty is the fastest. Ah, we've missed Rogue's time. He's on 50.3. So at the moment, it is... MT the Mighty, who is the fastest in Sector 1. It's a 50.7 for Quick Mix, so he's a little bit behind. Kabuki does. I missed it, but he wasn't looking too quick. 50 points. It's a 50.3, which is fastest, I think, so far for Immortal. Now, 49.9. So at the moment, MT the Mighty is looking at the fastest. Uh, we've got Mr. Neon as well. He did a 24.3. He's just behind MT. 49.9 is the time to beat going in 6-2 so far. Can Mr. Neon do anything about that? It is going to be a 50.4, so Mr. Neon is actually quite far behind. So we're just going to watch MT, make sure that he keeps everything good coming into this final section. And he does go faster than Rogue and Immortal. Well, and everyone. <laughs> Essentially, Days is coming out on his lap now. Mr. Neon is invalidated somewhere. It's a 51.1 for Old Manzi, so Old Manzi's looking actually quite slow. This five-place grid penalty might really hurt him if he's unable to get a decent lap together. 116.3 from Kabuki. That was the time that saw the just about safe point. Uh, Old Manzi is the last car on a lap. We've got Rage Quit and Days coming up. Old Manzi does a 116.9. That's very slow. Old Manzi, he'll be wanting to get that a little bit better. We've got uh, Daniel, who's stuck where he is. Mr. Neon is being brought in. Rage quit and Daze. Uh, who's going to be the first? It's going to be Daze. He's going to ride on board with Daze, unless these other cars are going for it again. Rogue's bringing it in. MT is on an end lap. Immortal's on an end lap. Quick Mix bringing it in. Kabuki's bringing it in. Old Manzi's going to be bringing it in. It is going to be Day's Freak, the next car, to put up some time. I wonder how many runs they're going to take out. We've got a Haas coming out now. That is... That'll probably be Daniel, because he hasn't done an actual lap yet. It is Daniel coming out. Day's Freak starting his lap in the Alpha Tauri. Here we go. Although there is no clock, <laughs> interestingly. Uh, that's Rage Quit as well. Daniel's a little bit further behind. 
So it was point, I think it was point one, 24.1 MT the Mighty did in Sector 1. Days Freak does a 24.0, so he's a full second off of the pace already of MT the Mighty. The game is lying to us, telling him that he's gone the fastest. We're just going to see what TT TTV Rage Quick can do. It's a 24.2, so Rage Quick looking a little bit more comfortable than Days right now. Days is very slow here. He's a three seconds behind MT the Mighty. We're going to have a look at what Rage Quit's got. 49.9 was the time to beat. He's quite far off of oh no, only 0.6 actually for Rage Quit. A lot closer to the rest of the pack than Days is. Days is not looking outstanding. And it's a 119 for Days. That is dreadful <laughs> for a driver of Days's capabilities. Rage Quit about to cross the line. He does a 116.5. Daniel's the next car on track. It's a 24.3. So he's a little bit closer. He's going to be looking at around quick Mick immortal sort of time, I think, at the moment for Daniel P45. But we'll be able to get a better indication of things. I'm not too sure what happened to MT in that final sector. Because he was very... We haven't seen anyone do a 49. 49 are in sector, entering sector 2. Daniel P45 is a full second behind MT the Mighty. So this might be a good indication. So he's 0.2 behind him in sector 1. So 0.8 behind him in sector 2. This might be a really good indication of whether or not MT massively got it wrong. Oh, and Daniel's got it wrong. Mr. Neil needs to come out again for another lap, I think. I think what was Daze? Daze has invalidated He's probably going to be bringing it in here. Daze is bringing it in. Rage Quit. Rage Quit is charging his ERS. I, wonder if, I don't know what, if Rage Quit's going. Rage Quit looks like, yeah, Rage Quit's bringing it into the pits. He has the trajectory of someone bringing it into the pits. We've got Quick Mick on an outlap. We've got Mr. Neil on an outlap. Mr. Neon is about to start his lap. We've got uh, a McLaren coming out. That'll probably be Rogue. Coming out a little bit early. Mr. Neon is the car we're going to be riding on board with for now. I'm also going to have to have a little look at what Quick Mick does. They're quite far away from each other. So the flicking around might be a little bit difficult. Mr. Neon, what have we got? It's a 124.2. It's a respectable sector one. The game says it's the fastest, but we know it's not because we can we've been keeping track of everything. We have now got Quick Mick starting his lap. Oh, it's an invalidation from Mr. Neon again. That was a cheap one to get. Quick Mick is the only car doing a lap, and I thought it might have been the fastest invalidation we've seen so far. Um for Quick Mick, but he does manage to keep it between the lines. But he only does a 24.3, which is somewhat slower than MT and Rogue. That was nice and tidy for Quick Mick. He's going to get a little bit of slipstream off of that house. It's a 50.2 for Quick Mick, so only 0.3 behind MT. And he is now point invalidation behind MT. Mr. Neon is still on invalidation mode. Immortal is on his lap now. We're going to have a look at Immortal because it wasn't actually Rogue. It was Immortal. Immortal. Immortal's the only driver who's actually on a lap. It's a 24 dead for Immortal. And I think that's the fastest sector one we've had so far. 
There's a Hass behind him. Is this Hass a natural Hass? Yeah. So 24 dead. What's Mr. Neon got? Mr. Neon's got 24.3, so it might be worth holding on to Immortal so far. No, it's not worth holding on to Immortal because he's invalidated. So Mr. Neon and Daniel. Yeah, Mr. Neon and Daniel, we've got a lot of people on laps now. Daniel does a 24.4. Quick Mick, 24.5. Old Manzi, 24.5. Rage Quit, 24.1, that's better. And MT, 24.2, so he's a little bit up on his time. 24.1, looks like Quick Mick. Oh, ah, there's a Hass coming. It's Daniel P45, and then we've got to quickly go to Quick Mick. 50.9, not, not great. 50.6, not great. Old Manzi, 51.1, that's really not great. Rage Quit is next. Still no one getting anywhere near MT's time. It's a 50. MT. He's done a 50.1, so he's lost a little bit of time. But this sector might have been particularly slow for MT, so we're just going to run on board with him for now. We have got Rogan Immortal coming up too. Rogue's going to be getting a little bit of a slipstream off of this Alfa Romeo in front of him. Rogue has now made it down to a 50.1. Which is still 0.2 off of MT, but the times I think MT could have been looking for a 15.4 maybe. If It just looks like he got it wrong in this sector. MT takes a checkered flag. That's a quick mick and rage quit. TYG Rogue is about to cross the line with Kabuki. Kabuki crosses the line. He does a 116 dead. Rogue does a 115.6. It's not enough. Immortal. Not looking like getting huge improvements. He does a 15.6. He's got a little bit off of his time. Neon and Old Manzi. They're out. Daniel's. Uh, Daniel. Oh, it's just up to Daze then. And Daze is. Daze is um, invalidated as well. So that is that. This is the final finishing order. Just going to see if there's anything in the driver's lounge. So, my advice to any drivers here is don't get too comfortable in your positions. We might be getting a restart. The stewards are just taking a look at it now. So here is the potential final order, MT the mighty P1 with an almighty lap, uh, I think that sector 2 that he put up was phenomenal. TYG Rogue gets P2, Immortal P3, so he's going to have both McLarens nipping at him. Quick Mick P4, Kabuki P5. Uh, Rage Quit P6, Neon P7. Old Manzi P8, Daniel P45, P9, Days Freak P10. We are about to have a decision on whether or not it's a restart. New lobby will be set up, so that is a new lobby set up for everyone. Um, and we need a picture of qualifying, so I may need to end the stream for us to get a picture of everything. Can I look at it in the race director? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So that there's old Manzi, but he was actually up a position. So I can get a picture of this quickly. So old Manzi will be moving up. 
a new lobby will be set up. So there was no complaining from old Manzi in the chat from what I saw. Dry and cloudy for the race as well. I'm going to leave this now. And uh, now we have to wait a little bit whilst the lobby's set up. Uh, and then we'll have to wait a little bit for the race start for everyone to do their strategies too. Cool, we're first in, look at that. So, for any of those who are joining us, there was an incident in Q1, uh, sorry, Q2, between Old Manzi and Dark Shadow, which caused Old Manzi to pick up a five place grid penalty. That grid penalty was deemed uh, excessive from the stewards, and the race has been to restart so we're just going to get everyone back into the lobby and uh, then we'll have to go again we'll have to sort out the weather and whatnot too so sit tight if anyone wants to get a cup of tea and a biscuit now is the time to do it because we might have we might have a maybe a 10 minute wait for the race start time As we wait for everyone to uh, fit up the lobby, it does look a little bit um,
The lobby is slowly filling itself up. We're still waiting on three drivers. Um, might be worth talking about the standings, I suppose. So, maybe... Uh, the wrong chat. Still waiting on two more people. I wonder if there's two people doing the race. <laughs> they just haven't noticed. They're like, oh, P1, let's go! <laughs> But meanwhile, we are still waiting. So, I have a picture of the starting grid. So, I'm going to talk about my picture. Just get my picture up. So, we've got MT the Mighty, who's only P8 in the championship. And I'm surprised that he's that low, because every time I've seen him, he looks like he's got a bit of pace. I think when it comes to the race, it's um, not quite there. Mercedes are quite low down in constructors as well. In fact, he's got 30 of their 42 points, so he's performing quite well. Um, old Manzi is doing a bit of a Verstappen, running away with the title a little bit um, and having to carry his teammate. Stars has only got 29 of Red Bull's 107 points. Uh, McLaren are uh, very perfectly balanced. Um, 53 and 50 respectively, that's probably the most balanced and the close team that we have. Even Ferrari, who are right at the bottom of the championship with only 8 points, have only got one driver who scored those 8 points. Uh, Martinez hasn't been able to register anything. Um, may, we're not really seeing Martinez either, which is somewhat problematic. Um... But looking at today's starting grid, as I said, MT is in P1, Tua Rogan Immortal. They've got a brilliant chance if they can just get past MT and keep their noses clean of going on and winning this race. Uh, quick Mick, as we know, is quite quick, and uh, he'll be looking to um, ruin their races. But this would be the chance to catch Old Manzi a little bit uh, for Immortal or, or, Rogue, or Mick. All, all three of them are in the top four. Uh, next, it's Kabuki, who's down in P7 in the championship, in drivers' championship, uh, P5 on the grid. Then it's Rage Quit, who's P6. He is P6 in the championship, as well. Mr. Neon is in P7 uh, in the Haas. Uh, I think he is a reserve driver, though, replacing Mr. Adam Moore. Um, And then we've got Daniel P45 as well. Um, he's managed to get himself into Q1. Uh, Q Q3. Because <laughs> everyone gets into Q1. But he's only got six points on the board. So now would be a good time for Haas to get some more points. And uh, to help out a little bit in the, the, like the website-wide championship. As Haas are quite close um, to Alpha Tauri. Alpine and McLaren, if they can get themselves up. They're only 39 points off of McLaren. Um, a lot of McLaren's points, though, coming from this division. So the other McLaren drivers can thank uh, Rogan Immortal for that one. I'll say that Patronus has got 40 points, so he's got quite a lot of points too. Uh, it seems to be the other, the other McLaren drivers letting everyone down. But this could be a risky one and a bad one for Red Bull. Because I think this is the kind of track where I think actual pace is going to come into things. Um, what I mean by that is I think there's some tracks where it's going to be more down... Uh, so, some tracks require more skill than others. And I think this is going to be one 
where race pace isn't going to make as much of a difference as it would around a more technical track, uh, something like a uh, Monaco, or maybe not quite Monaco because it's limited chances to overtake, but something like Circuit of the Americas. Um, what's the other track that I was thinking of? Maybe Monza, where if you get stuck towards the back, there's so many like so many like DRS zones if you're driving with drivers of a similar level like we have here all in the same car like car performance wise uh, then it's gonna it, 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 there's not a lot of chance to break the DRS trap and break that one second limit so people, cars just end up overtaking each other that's the point I'm trying to get to and this one, this track doesn't have a lot of DRS zones, but also doesn't have a lot of doesn't have a lot of suitable places for overtaking, other than the DRS zone. Uh, anywhere else you go to overtake is a little bit risky. But we shall see what this race has in store. I might be completely wrong, and uh, old Manzi will end up getting himself towards the front quite quickly. Um, We're getting closer to the race start now. I did think it was going to be 10 minutes. I was a little bit off with my prediction. Turns out it's going to be... Uh, well... Probably closer to 17 minutes past, I'd imagine. Uh, if any drivers are watching, I'd remind you to put your setups on. Um, just in case you've forgotten to do that and we reset and you've forgotten about it, do not forget to put your setups on. Uh, that's one thing you really don't want affecting you when you can have a good race. We've had a lobby restart, and you've got the wrong setup on, and you end up with like a 10-10 wing or something on this track. And fast on the straight, <laughs> not too quick on the rest of the track. So we've had a little look at the uh, champ the championship standings. We've had a little look at constructors as well. It again, it is a Red Bull McLaren show, and I think we're going to see McLaren end up overtaking Red Bull here. We need Rogan or Rogan Immortal, rather not we need but Rogan Immortal need to um, they need to make sure they have a good race here because with how much. I think with how much better the top four, not not necessarily better, but with how much more points the top four are scoring than everyone else, with Rogue, Immortal, Quick Mick and Old Manzi, I think Old Manzi's getting away with it because, not getting away with it, but getting away with the championship, but I don't mean getting away in a negative sense, is because he's keeping everything consistent. He's, oh, I'm, I'm not qualifying very high, but when it comes to the race, I'm there. Whereas Rogue and Mortal are always there on pace, but then when the race comes in, the, the, it's not matching up. Like, 53 and 50 points. It's not bad, by any means, of the of, by any stretch of the imagination. But it's disappointing for what could have been. I think that's the overall. The, the overall point with it. Well, it's now quarter past nine. There's still no sign of a race start. Rogue's in the wrong car.
Well, this was the time I was hoping we'd be started <laughs> at the latest. Still awaiting, but I don't think we're too far away now. So bear with, I imagine it's not too fun listening to me run out of things to say and watching uh, the pit lane and that bloke in his Ivy's gear looking left and right. You'd think he'd be pay Oh, hello! Are we having something? No, I thought something was happening. I, I don't know why. Oh, sorry, Dan. I'd like to get it started as quickly as possible. Right, I think we're going to have a ready up now. We've just had Division 4 Let's Go called by Kabuki. Still no ready up though. Here we go, formation lap time. Let's get all of this on and we'll have a look at what tyres everyone's going for. So everyone is on mediums other than Rage Quit, Stars, DTYT and Skull Kid. I like the hard compound. I used to be the kind of guy who preferred a medium to hard but now I seem to be of a hard to medium and this is going to be really confusing seeing Rogue in that Ferrari uh, especially if Smurf gets up a little bit more but the standing admins have been notified it would have been a lot nicer to have just seen both McLarens there really I hope everyone else is in the right car I think everyone else has selected the right car trust Rogue to be the one guy to mess it up Gravedigger starting at the back. I think he might have been better off starting on hards. I might, he's going to get past a lot of those people off of natural pace anyway, I think. So he may as well have done it on the slower tyre and saved his faster tyre for when he, in theory, is a little bit further. Not too sure what happened there. Good luck, quick Mick. Well, if his recent form is anything to go by, he's not going to need it. MT the Mighty parks his car in the number one spot. And he gets it bang on the money. Brave Digger up the rear. Oh, hello. That's a Haas. That is... No, it's not. It's an Alpha Tower, isn't it? Yeah, it's an Alpha Tower. The Alpha Tower is going to have to go through some traffic. Let's get back to the front. Oh, I don't like that camera angle, though. And it's lights out and away we go. MT the Mighty getting things started off quite nicely. He's got a very good start. Quick Mick has already passed Immortal. Oh, something's happened at the back here. Oh, there's chaos everywhere. We've got a car out already. Oh. Oh, there's debris everywhere. And we've got a safety car. We've only lost Rogue, though. I'm not too sure what happened with Rogue. So, <laughs> let's get the tyre. So, we've got Old Manzi, who's got a five-second penalty. Adam's got a five-second. Stars and Carrot have all got five seconds. What has gone on here, Division 5? For position changes, then. It looks like Daniel has become worse off. And Immortal... I wonder if it had something to do with Immortal and Old Manzi. Oh, Immortal's lost a wing. There's a lot of cars that are going to have damage, I think, here. So, MT got away nice and 
very well what we were saying at the beginning of the evening. I don't think we need a restart, to be honest. We only lost one car. I'm not calling a restart, personally. I don't know if I'm going to get overruled by someone. But with us only losing one car, I'm trying to inspect all of the cars. It doesn't look like there's a l too many that have got damage. Immortal and Old Manzi are in the pits. Old Manzi will probably be trying to get his penalty served. Oh, Stars is going to be waiting. Awful for Stars. If only, f if only four cars have had to go into the pits. Brick Grit is just coming up the rear. I don't think anyone else has got damage. I think now would have been the time to pit. So yeah, only only five cars taking damage one terminal, I think we're okay. Yeah. City driving, as always. Yeah, I agree, Aaron. Something to do with Italy and turn one. So absolute disaster for the McLarens. <laughs> and for the Red Bulls, actually, but bigger disaster for McLaren than Red Bull. Yeah, stewards are going to have a field day, and I didn't really catch any of it. I hope that for future F1s, I'm not going to hold my breath for the next one, but I hope that future F1s we have better, better ways to spectate, better angles on things. Because that was awful. Well, the big winners of this anyway, we've got Skull Kid and Gravedigger who've gone up quite a few positions, as has DTYT and Carrot. Oh, everyone, a lot of people have gone up a lot of positions, really, I think. I think what a lot of it is, it's drivers who are fast, drivers who can't drive wheel to wheel, unfortunately. I'm not saying everyone's at fault. But at least on the bright side for Stars, is he is going to be able to catch up the rest of the pack. Oh, there we go. Okay, Dan is DYT. Okay, or DTYT. I uh, I wish I could begin to analyse what just happened. Uh, I wonder if Rogue has got anything. I might send him a message. See if I can uh, find out. Nothing from... Oh, there we go. Rogue is typing. So we are about to find out. Uh, safety car is still out for now. We might get it in. The brick grit is pitted for some reason. We'll just go back to the tyres. Although Adam Moore and Carrot have still got penalties. So I think something happened. Well, apparently Quick Mick turned into uh, the back wheels of Rogue. And that is what caused the incident. Uh, anyway, I wanted to look at tyres. So it's still a mix of hard and mediums. No one going for the softs. We're going to have MT restarting us. We'll stay on the tyre. Does he catch Quick Mick out? Not really, but he does sort of catch Kabuki out, though. And MT. MT and Mick, I think, are going to get away from everyone. Rogue has left the session, and he doesn't have a clip of what happened. So 
little bit better. We've got Skull Kid who's getting a little bit cool. I think Skull Kid was close to Carrot, but something's happened. Uh, Mick has somewhat lost the trail of MT. We've got Immortal. Oh, and we've got a Daniel who's going to get past Skull Kid surely here. Keeps it up the inside, gets the racing line. Goes a little bit wide. Is Skull Kid going to come back here? No. Oh, it looks like Skull Kid's just driven in front of Immortal, though. Dark Shadow. Oh, Dark Shadow trying to get around Immortal, too. Things are looking a little bit tasty at the back. And, oh, wow, Gravedigger. Not Gravedigger. Old Manzi has just come out of nowhere for that one. It's good driving from Old Manzi. That was brilliant driving from Old Manzi to get past his championship rival, Immortal. And he would have wanted to get past him very quickly, and he has done. Now he'll be able to have a crack at Skull Kid. We've got Mr. Neon getting closer to Kabuki. Both drivers using up a lot of their ERS. We've got Daisy who's trying to get past Smurf. Things are looking very close. Oh, you can't go three wide there, guys. Well done, they pulled out of it. Uh, and Dan, just behind him, his teammate. Immortal looked at Old Manzi a moment. Old Manzi didn't get past Skull Kid, somewhat surprisingly. Oh, what's happened here? Anyway, back to green flags. It's Days. What's happened to Days? Maybe just lost it. Back to watch Immortal, Old Manzi, and Skull Kid. Skull Kid's getting put under all sorts of pressure. He's used up so much more of his ERS just to try and keep Old Manzi behind him. And I think Old Manzi's going to get past him here. And Old Manzi does manage to indeed get past him. And Dark Shadow has gotten past Immortal, so something has happened to Immortal. Dark Shadow picks up a three second time penalty, though. Carrot is getting a little bit closer to Smurf. Got Mr. Oh, MT gets fastest lap. Mr. Neon's getting a little bit closer to uh, Kabuki. And Skull Kid's got a three second time penalty. Emotive Carrot trying to get past. That's an awful camera angle. Uh, manages to get past Smurf and should be able to make that stick going into turn one or turn two. I don't know. I'm not sure what actually counts as turn one and turn two. Neon getting a little bit close to Kabuki. Kabuki's really falling off of Quick Mick, and Quick Mick is really struggling to stay with MT here. Smurf is close to Carrot. Carrot is close to Dan. Daze has gone, found himself all the way at the back of the grid. Old Man's has managed to get a little bit of a gap between him, Skull Kid, and Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow is trying to get past Skull Kid. Old Manzi is now. Oh, what's happened here? Something else. Something. Something bad's happened again. It's Daniel P45. Daniel P45 lost the car. Adam getting a bit closer to Rage Quit. Is he going to go for a move? I don't think so. It's going to be a bit of a DRS train for Adam. It might mean that Dan gets overtaken by Emotive Carrot because Dan's out of ERS and Carrot has got DRS. Dan goes defensive, Carrot doesn't take a risk. Dark Shadow and Skull Kid, very close indeed. Mortal sort of stuck at the back. That's a ooh, that's a bold move. Dan picking up a three second time penalty for track limit violations. Skull Kid's blasted all of his ERS to try and keep cars behind him. Immortal seeing his championship rivals other than his teammate, who would probably be the one he'd prefer to see overtake him, but everyone's overtaking him. Quick Mick is still up in P2. Old Man's he's starting to chase down Smurf. He's got himself into the points. We're seeing a little bit of a, uh, a Max Verstappen resurgency here from Old Manzi. Skull Kid picks up a three second time penalty. Carrot getting closer to Dan. Hello, HPR Parker. Thank you for the raid. Dark 
Dark Shadow picking up a three second time penalty. How defensive are we going to see DTYT go here? It is DTYT is going to try and keep a racing lines. Tried squeezing Carrot a little bit, but uh, yeah, Carrot is surely going to make this one stick and get themselves up into P7. Skull Kid getting closer to Immortal. Immortal's got, well, Immortal's gotten past Skull Kid actually. Uh, Stars is getting a little bit. So it looks. I look how close it looks on the Red Bull, and look how far away it looks. <laughs> it's really close when you're riding on board with the Red Bull. Old Manzi is very close now to Smurf, and Smurf is nearly dropping out the DRS range. Um, I don't know if Carrot is going to be able to get away from Dan. We will see. Smurf is getting close to Dan. Smurf might be fancying his chances of getting the pair of them. Oh, Smurf picking up a prison I'm probably that's not going to help. Old Man's he's just got so much more traction and he's going to get past Smurf. Oh, Smurf's just turned into him. Smurf's turned into him again a little bit. It. They've both got DRS. Old Manzi's going to probably go for it again. Smurf is going to hold on to it. A little bit more straight line speed out of that Ferrari. We've got Stars who's got past Skull Kid a little bit further behind in his Red Bull. Now wheel to wheel. And Old Manzi's going to try and get him on the old switcheroo. He's got the inside line here. This is some fantastic racing from Old Manzi. Smurf is holding on to it, and they're both not really using their ARS that much. Oh, a little bit wide there from Smurf, and Old Manzi's going to... Oh, he was cut off a little bit from Smurf, and that's wide from Smurf, and now he's... He's lost two seconds to Dan, and now Dan's going to make a move on Carrot. Carrot... Doesn't want to try and resist too much. We've got Dark Shadows also lurking. It's a little bit of an all over the place drive from Smurf. Oh, a little bit of a tap from Old Manzi onto Smurf, but nothing too major. Carrot is going to look for. Oh no! That was really dangerous driving from DTYT or Dan. And old Manzi gets part. No, doesn't get past Smurf. And. Ooh. Thought hit side of Smurf there. Stars Orphan picks up a three second time penalty. Immortals managed to catch up this pack because of the little fight that's going on between old Manzi and Smurf. I wonder if Dark Shadow is going to try and just ruin old Manzi's day. And I thought Immortal might have looked a little bit there because Dark Shadow left the door open somewhat. I would describe it as left the door open ajar for it. Dark Shadow picking up another three second time penalty. He's doing absolutely everything in his power to get past Old Manzi, including making up his own track. And it's still not working for him. Carrot's getting close to Dan. We'll see if Dan can defend a little bit cleaner this time, rather than nearly putting Carrot into the barrier. Oh, that's not great from Old Man's here. Now he's going to be put under a pressure by Immortal, and Dark Shadow's also going to be coming for the both of them here as well. They've all got DRS. Immortal really wants to get past Old Man's here. Smurf doesn't have DRS. Smurf went defensive, but that ended up forcing Immortal or making Immortal unable to go for the move. Smurf holds on to P9. This is an absolutely brilliant defensive job. If he was, if he's doing this for another driver, this, this is absolutely brilliant defensive work. It's somewhat clean defensive work as well, I'd say. A lot cleaner than what we saw from Dan, which is DT. I'm going to keep calling him DTYT because other people might not know that he's called Dan. And the only reason I know he's called Dan is because he put it in the chat. 
Dark Shadow has another penalty. What is this man doing? He's got 15 seconds worth of pens. Daniel P45 picks up a three second penalty. This is where Old Man Z usually has a nice bit of traction. I think at some point these mediums are going to stop working. This has been a really interesting battle between Old Man Z and Mortal Dark Shadow and Smurf. Smurf again isn't going to have ERS. He's really tried to get closer to Carrot. Carrot's not got ERS either. Dark Shadow has a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Dark Shadow's retired. That is a. Yeah, I mean, I guess he had a lot of penalties, but from a race perspective, that is a bit of a shame. Because it was an interesting one. Immortal will be relieved, although. Old Manzi might be somewhat relieved too, because it might mean that his teammate can catch up a little bit here. And it's going to be the inside line again for Smurf, who holds onto the position. And there's still no way past for Old Manzi. And MT the Mighty has now broken. No, he hasn't had broken DRS range on uh, Quick Mick. And I think finally Old Manzi might be able to make this one stick, but Smurf isn't giving up on it, and Smurf is just positioning his car just about enough to keep Old Manzi behind. But Immortal can't get past because, Old Man uh, because Smurf's car is in the way when he goes for an overtake. Oh, that didn't look... Fantastic traction from Smurf. Immortal doesn't take it as well. Uh, Smurf still not able to get some yeah, DRS. Well, we might get it actually. Smurf has picked up a three second time penalty, but Carrot is somewhat dropping off. Is he going to get DRS here? No, no DRS. Even though he's so close. And this time, the Ferrari is beaten. Or is it? Oh, that was a bit of a silly one, I think, for Smurf. I think in his desperation to get the overtake done, he's ended up going for a move that just wasn't on. Ooh. Just wait for the Haas. There we go. Now, Stars has managed to get between uh, to get 1.2 behind Stars. It's a bit of a shame for Smurf because he was putting up a really good defensive fight. Didn't get DRS off a of carrot. Carrot has now dropped back close enough to Old Manzi for I think Old Manzi to pick DRS up as we come into um, as we get to the DRS zone. I think Old Manzi will get there. Oh, it was getting quite close, but things have spaced themselves out a little bit. Brick Grit's getting close to Skull Kid. And MT and Quick Mick are exchanging place. I didn't actually notice that Quick Mick got in front of MT. Days Freak picks up a 3 time penalty down in P14. <coughs> MT is unable to get past Quick Mick, but they both don't have a lot of ERS. This race so far is working out brilliantly for Quick Mick, and he will be the big winner of the day. If he does win the race, it will put him on 75 points, and if everything stays like this, if with these positions, I don't think it will because there's going to be time penalties as well, but let's just say for argument's sake that everything stays like this. Just for the drama, he will be only six points, I think. Six points behind Old Manzi, and that will blow the World Championship wide open. Days Freak has DNF'd. Are we getting a safety bar? No, he's not. He's retired from the pits. Days has retired from the pits. We've got Mr. Adam Moore trying to get past Smurf, and he does do Smurf's Defensive days, somewhat behind him. Days Freak has no session, and Old Manzi has caught right up to Carrot, but Carrot is able to keep on the defence. Immortal has caught back up to them now, and these other drivers are doing Immortal sort of a favour. And MT is getting close to Quick Mix, so we're just going to watch on board with what happens with the Immortal first. And actually, one of them is going into the pits, so Quick Mix is going to try and undercut MT somewhat. Old Manzi, meanwhile, I think he's good for P6 so far, but I think he'll get even higher. We've also got Kabuki coming into the pits. I wonder who else is coming in. I don't think we're going to see the hard users coming, but Carrot is coming in. Old Manzi picks up ERS. Doesn't have to worry about overtake. Uh, yeah, doesn't have to worry about um, overtaking. Quick Mick is going to rejoin. I think he's going to rejoin just behind Stars. Yeah, he's going to come out in P8. And we have a new lead of the race in MT the Mighty. 7.6 seconds clear of Mr. Neon. Rage Quick P3. DTYT P4. Old Man's is up to P4. 
five. Now Smurf gets a three second time penalty again. Uh, Immortal's getting close to Old Manzi. I wonder when the. Oh, we've got a VSC. Now would be a good time to pit. I'm not too sure what's happened. Why do we have a VSC? So, not a terrible time to pit for some of these drivers. Smurf has left the session, so Smurf has. Ah, that's why we have a VSC. I'm not sure how that's VSC and not full safety car. It's VSC. The car has now despawned. Surely MT brings it into the pits now. Surely. Yeah, looks like MT's bringing it in. He doesn't speed, which is good news for him. We're still under virtual safety car conditions. We're probably going to be going green relatively soon. That looks like it. Oh, it's, no, it was quite comfortable, actually. I imagine everyone who hasn't pitted is going to pit now. It looks like MT is going to be the big winner. Oh no, Rage Quit is. Oh, Rage Quit doesn't pit though. Rage Quit stayed out. Immortals stayed out too. Why have they done that? Now that was some awful race management from Immortal and Rage Quit. That's the kind of race management that loses you a championship. DRS is back on. We are back to greens and we are racing again. So Old Manzi is going to come out. Uh, he's going to be. Yes, he's going to be fine. I think Old Manzi is going to come out P9. Uh, and when Immortal and Rage Quit pit, he'll surely come out. Um, well, I don't know if Rage Quit and Immortal are going to try and take this all the way for softs and just do a hard soft strategy if that's the plan. But I don't think that should be the plan because they had a really good chance of not a free pit stop but getting a. A semi-free pit stop. Immortals chasing down MT. I'm not too sure how. Uh, quick Mick. Big loser. He's 2.4 behind uh, MT the Mighty. All he can hope for is that Immortal puts enough pressure on him. Um, but I think what's more likely is that MT loses Immortal. And Immortal just gets in Quick Mick's way. But not looking the case so far. Immortal is going to get DRS. And he's not going to bring his car into the pit. I really don't know why he hasn't pit. I'm perplexed. He's not getting anywhere near MT here. Those tyres are just too old. And Skull Kid's picked up a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Don't know why he didn't bring it in last lap. Skull Kid has a new set of mediums on. Quick Mick is very close to Immortal now. And now MT will be hoping that this could be enough to get himself firmly, or get himself a little bit of breathing room from Quick Mick in the Alpine. Skull Kid is going to rejoin P13, I do believe. Yeah, he's going to come out in front of Gold, uh, Gravedigger. <laughs> and Immortal. Is he going to hold up Quick Mick at all? Well, he is going to hold up Quick Mick a little bit, at least. Not too much. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit. I do think Immortal is going to lose it on the straight. Is Quick Mick going to try and overtake him before that? Is Immortal going to bring it in? Quick Mick picks up a three-second time penalty, though. So let's just check penalties. He's got extra seconds on MT, so now things are looking really good for MT in the Mercedes. Immortal brings it in for mediums. He's going to come out behind Old Manzi. He's probably going to come out behind Adam. Maybe even Stars. I think he's going to come out in front of Stars. He's about to get himself up to race speed now. He should be okay to come out in front of Stars, but I think Stars might be able to put a little bit of pressure on him. There is Immortal. He is... What's that? Six seconds behind Old Manzi? What were you doing? What were you thinking with that strategy? TTV Rage Quit stayed out. I think someone needs to tell him he needs to pit as well. I mean, surely TTV Rage Quit's taking this all the way to a soft tyre. Surely. There's no way you go 17 laps. Don't pit under VSC. 
and here comes Quick Mick, and here goes Quick Mick. And now Quick Mick isn't going to get DRS, but he is only 1.3 behind MT, so I think he'll end up catching him. He's looking very fast on these hard tyres, and he's just set the fastest lap. Rage Quick does have DRS, but he's not close enough to him. Mr. Neon is in P4, it's a nice outing for him. And DTYT is getting closer to Kabuki. Not and not close enough to make a move though. And that is the only real close contest. We've got Quick Mick and MT who are going to be challenging, challenging each other for the wet race. Skull Kid picks up a three second time penalty, but he's all the way down to 13 anyway, so it's not going to have a huge effect on points. Uh, Rage Quit still going. Is he going to try and get 12 laps of softs? If he does 12 laps of mediums, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be absolutely fuming if I see him pit for mediums. Absolutely fuming. We've got Grave Diggers getting closer to Daniel. We've got DTYT just behind Kabuki. He's got the faster tyre. And Mr. Neon is past Rage Quit. Rage Quit is bringing it in. We're going to see what tyres he pits for now. DTYT trying to get closer to Kabuki. He should be able to get the overtake done here, although Kabuki is going to use the ERS. And now he's run out of it. And Rage Quit has gone for the soft tyre, so I at least respect that. Old Manzi is past him. Rage Quit had a decent bit of pace. Oh, he's going to get stuck behind Adam and Immortal. But he did have a decent amount of pace in qualifying. Oh, is he going to get bit stuck behind Stars? He's going to be behind Stars. He's got a lot of work to do on those soft tyres. And he's got some drivers with some fresh mediums around him as well. We'll be keeping an arm Rage Quit. He might be able to get himself a little bit higher. Maybe as high as P7. But I don't think it really gets any higher than that. I don't think he's going to catch Old Manzi. He might do. I mean, if we had a safety car... Now would be the perfect time from his point of view for one. Because everyone's going to come in a pit and he's already pitted with his fresh softs. So I guess he could have done with maybe the safety car when he was in P1, but P2, wherever he was. Uh, Quick Mick is slowly but surely catching MT, but nothing having a huge impact. DTYT has sort of lost Kabuki. And Old Manzi is going to be chasing him down, and I think the penalties are going to mean that Old Manzi gets... Yeah, I think Old Manzi might be okay for P4 here. Skull Kid picks up another three-second time penalty. We'll just have a look at what he's got now. He's on 20 seconds worth of penalty, so it's not been an ideal race for Skull Kid. And Immortal picks up the fastest lap, so that could be an extra point for McLaren. Immortal needs to make this one count, though. He had the perfect chance. He just pitted under that VSC. That was a golden opportunity to make something happen. DTYT is slowly losing Kabuki. I think we've got Skull Kid who just retired. I think that was one penalty too many for him. Gravedigger is now last place and the actual closest cars on track are Stars and Adam and MT and Mick. And they're quite far apart from each other. Looks like Skull Kid's Alpine is going to come back onto the track and retire itself somewhere else. That's another thing I hope they improve for the following game. It's okay. Alpine is coming out. But let's hope it doesn't get in the way of Mr. Neon. It doesn't get in the way of Mr. Neon, so that's okay. We have got Old Manzi who's caught right up to DTYT though. Could be looking for a P5. And you've got to back Old Manzi to get it really. Ten laps to go. Rage quit not making a huge amount of progress on stars. Well, not a 
Actually, he's making quite a lot of progress on the stars. What am I on about? He'll be wanting to get a little bit higher than that, though. I think... I don't even think he's going to catch Immortal. You know, I think Immortal's too far gone. Not without another safety car. An old man Z has just breezed past DTYT. Is DT going to come back at old man Z? Oh, that's not how you're going to do it. You're going to lose a lot of time here. The Red Bull driver. Gonna try and get in DRS range. The Young Fatari is not letting the sister team Red Bull. Oh no, he's bringing it in. Why is he bringing it in? For Sofs? Well, that could see rage. Well, that will see rage got overtaken. I think DTYT's sort of throwing that one away somewhat. Skull Kid has left. DT wants a fresh pair of Sofs. Stars is all over the track here, and he's been easily overtaken by Adam. And Rage Quit is right behind Stars now. And Stars again all over the place. Just tried to see if he had any damage there, but it doesn't look like he does. Stars are just tumbling down the positions. I've just looked at the tyre life between Adam and Rage Quit. My goodness. Rage Quit should surely eat him alive. He's losing so much time to Immortal, the car in front. Immortal is... Is he catching Old Manzi? I think he might be. I think Immortal might be catching Old Manzi here. Which will do Quick Mick a favour, because he's now 2.7 behind MT. And let's just make sure that it is the way right it is. Yeah, so he's... Not only three seconds behind MT, Rage Quit is going to breeze past Adam here. He's not only three, a 2.8 behind MT, he's also got the three second penalty behind him, which is essentially nearly six seconds behind. And Quick Mick has picked up another time penalty, which now is going to allow Mr. Neon to get even closer. Mr. Neon is looking on for a P2 here. Quick Mick is throwing this one away somewhat. Someone needs to tell Mr. Neon, use a little bit of your ERS. Oh, nah, you're fine. Just make sure you stick with Quick Mick. If you can catch Quick Mick, though, he keeps making mistakes. And get past him. Well, there's a chance for Mr. Neon to go on and win this whole thing. And I do think Immortal is catching old Manzi ever so slightly. He's using his ERS to get a little bit closer. We've got Daniel P45 who's getting close to Brick Grit and he's also got DTYT trying to overtake him on those fresh softs. DT DTYT who has sacrificed... Uh, was it P... it was P6. He might have gotten overtaken by Immortal anyway. I think we'd have kept Rage Quit behind him. Maybe DTYT just wants to enjoy himself and get some overtakes. Who cares about where you finish as long as you're enjoying yourself? Looks like he's going to get past Brick Grit here. And it looks like Daniel might come with him. No. Oh, yes! Oh, dear. That wasn't fantastic driving from Daniel. Brick Grit has been forced off the track. And now Brick Grit is down in right at the back. And Immortal has definitely caught up to Old Manzi now. And ERS is looking similar. Those two points, they might not be huge today, but they might be huge come the end of the season. And just for rhyming purposes, hopefully that's in May, so I can say they might not be huge today, but they might be huge come May. There you go, you're welcome. That's what <laughs> four years... <laughs> and like £80,000 worth of university debt gets you. <laughs> so Immortal is 
He's not got great traction coming out of that corner. He needs to get a little bit close to Old Man's if he's going to make things stick, I think. We've got Stars who's past Adam. Adam's pitting. Or softs, I hope. It seems like a lot of the drivers are going for fun over track position. So Adam is pitting, so he's sacrificing his points for a bit of a laugh. So both Aston Martins at the back now, and that is a retired Brick Grit. Brick Grit has had enough. Doesn't want to drive anymore. It's chilling at the back. Both Aston Martins at the back. And Quick Mick is slowly caught MT back up again. And Mr. Neon is also... Um, I think he's lost a little bit of ground. Kabuki is much further behind though, and Old Manzi and Old Mortal have caught up to Kabuki now. Which oh, Immortal's picked up a three second time penalty. That might that might do it. That might be uh, what keeps Old Manzi in front and the difference between Old Manzi and Immortal really okay then. Alright then. Well, I mean, you got the overtake, so who am I to judge? Who am I to judge our championship leader? And I think now, I think, I think Kabuki's struggling a little bit out there. And that is going to help Old Manzi a little bit, because he can get a little bit of clean air. I don't think it's going to be any higher than fourth. I don't think, unless something horrible happens to MT, I don't think Quick Mix getting P1 or P2. Mr. Neon, all he's got to do is keep it, to certainly keep within the white lines and make sure that he doesn't bin it. He's got three seconds and much more ERS on his side and he's got himself P2. Now if MT picks up another time penalty it's not going to make much of a difference to Quick Me because he's got 9 seconds worth but it's going to make a huge difference to Mr Neon. He might then be able to go and win the race and those 10 points are going to be massive. Old Manzi he's still got his buffer of Kabuki and Rage Quit is now only 7 seconds behind Immortal. And with Kabuki with 5 seconds in front of him, Immortal with 3. He might be licking his lips somewhat. And Quick Mick. Oh, Adam's got the fastest lap. So that's going to ruin Immortal's day. I think had it, but it actually might be Rage Quit that got it. I'm not too sure. But it was Immortal that had it at some point. And Old Banzi isn't actually getting away from Kabuki. He caught Kabuki up quite easily. He overtook Kabuki quite easily. But he can't get away from Kabuki. And I don't know if he's just trying to keep Kabuki there. Because he knows he's not going to catch Neon. And he wants Immortal to get less points. But then Kabuki's got more time penalties than him anyway. So I think I'm just looking too far into it there. He's also now dropped Kabuki on DRS. And now you've got to expect that Immortal gets past him. Kabuki's using all of it. And Immortal is struggling for straight line speed. Kabuki's caught Old Manzi all the way back up. Without DRS. I'm not too... I, I, I'm going to imagine that Old Manzi just keeps making mistakes, but... DTYT is going to get past Carrot now. Things looking a little bit jerky up there. Oh! Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I, um... I think... I don't know. I don't know if that was a little bit... Too, too much of an ambitious move. And 
something. I think something's happened with Kabuki and Immortal. Because old man Z's miles away now. I missed that as well. well. I say as well. I didn't miss what happened with uh, Carrot, but I think something's happened with Immortal and Kabuki. Does Immortal have damage? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like Kabuki either. Anyway, Rage Quit's got himself up into P5. I don't think he's going to get any higher than that. Old Man Z is probably just going to chill in P4 now. And Mr. Neon. He's somewhat losing time to Quick Mick, but not that much. Oh my goodness gracious, it's there again. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> this time it's Kabuki and Immortal. And I think that it was uh, Kabuki and... Daniel? Was it Daniel? No, DT. I think it was Kabuki and DT at fault. For going for a move that shouldn't really be going for. Well, let's uh, let's ride on board with Quick Mick then. Quick Mick has got a little bit more speed, I think, in the straight line. Just a tad more. Daniel P45 is catching Carrot. Let's go to penalties then, because we don't really care what the tyre life is now. So, Mr. Neon is still just about within uh, Quick Mix penalty. He's going to be kicking himself for getting that penalty. He could have really done with a win today, Quick Mix. That would have really put the pressure on old Manzi. But it's only going to be a... S it could have gone from a... 13 point difference and it's gone down to 6 I think if I work that out well yeah maybe he is now going to get DRS though for the last uh, last lap or so last lap he's going to get DRS I wonder if that's going to be enough to drop Neon He has now got DRS. How much time is that going to... An Immortal has got a 3 second time penalty. So... Stars isn't close enough for that to make any difference, though. Um, I think Carrot is going to lose out on points to Adam. Just going to ride on board with this one, because there's not really much else going on. And we may as well ride on board. I was going to say for the win of the race, but MT's going to win it. It's going to be more interesting to see what happens between Mick and Neon. It's still two seconds, though. I think Neon's going to be okay, unless he makes a mistake. Old Manzi's chilling on his... Uh, well, not on his own in Sector 1, but he is chilling on his own, and he's in Sector 1, but he's not the only person there. He is about to be the only person in Sector 2, though. Maybe. Maybe. He is now the only person in Sector 2, which sort of goes to show how far away he is from everyone. 20 seconds behind Mr. Neon. 10, 11 seconds clear of Rage Quit. And it is going to be MT the Mighty who takes home the win in Imola. We're going to make sure that Neon doesn't drop it. I think Neon is going to be okay, and he is okay. He picks up P2, Quick Mick P3, Old Manzi is going to be P4. Let's just have a look at Carrot and Adam, because there's actually something going on here. Not that it's going to really matter for the positions, but, well, well Adam has actually overtaken Carrot, though. So he did it on track instead of having to rely on penalties. He is he might get even higher than this, you know. Old Adam. Is he close enough to get Kabuki? No, he's not. Daniel's not close enough to get Kabuki, even if he didn't have a time penalty, so Adam's certainly not going to be. Well, DT reckons that Carrot has turned into him. My memory of it was that it was a, uh, a risky manoeuvre. Probably shouldn't have been made, but... 
it was just one front wheel, one back wheel touching each other, but it happened so quickly, I didn't have a chance to like speed it down and properly analyse it. Stars gets driver of the day, interestingly. <laughs> Not sure that's who I'd have given it to. I think mine would go to the man who led the race pretty much from start to finish. MT the Mighty, although maybe Mr. Neon for getting himself, uh, what was it, P8? P8, P9? Maybe? And there we have it. MT the Mighty gets P1, Mr. Neon P2, Quick Mick P3, Old Manzi P4, Rage Quick P5, Immortal P6, Sozzle P7, Kabuki P8, Adam Moore P9, Daniel P10, Gravedigger P11, Carrot P12, DT YT P13, Brickrit, uh, Brickrit DNF, Skulker DNF, Smurf Freak, Dark Shadow, and Rogue all DNFing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the um, the coverage of it. We've uh, DT reckons he was robbed somewhat. Um, it's a little bit late for the interviews, uh, so we'll um, we'll try and make them a bit quick. Try and make them quicker than quick make. I don't think Mr. Neon's going to be able to join. Yeah, I, I, I don't have any way to involve, to invite Mr. Neon. So, it, so okay, fantastic. Our, uh, our friends. He's on the he's on the PC, but he can join the party. Some okay. Like. All right. Well, if you could get him in. Yeah, Uh, it's the little box there, there for you guys there. to tick. Yes, I've ticked it. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, we'll start off with Mick then, even if uh, Neon doesn't join. So, um. Oh, um... oh there's Neon. Uh, you guys had a bit, of a, had a um, bit of a um, uneventful race. It was very much you two at the front. Um, uh, what was your guys' perspective of the carnage? Uh, that happened on lap one. Uh, I've got it clipped uh, because it was it was me that he made contact with. Um, and it all happened quite quickly, so I haven't had a chance to look back at it yet. But from my perspective, what it looked like, I was getting a little bit of a like lag. But it's no excuse if it if they blame me, it blame me. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really lost. Okay. My well, fault, uh... my fault, so. I've got, I've well, got Rogue said Rogue Quick said Mick turned Mick into turned. my back wheels and spanned me, but he doesn't have a clip, so he might be okay. I, I don't recall turning, but yeah, I've got I've got a clip anyway. I'll send it in for him to, to have a look at. So, yeah. Might be, uh, might, be, might yeah. just be needing might it to use as defence. <laughs> yeah. But apart from that, how did you? Uh, how did the race go for you? And there was um, you picked up the big nine second penalty in the end. I think that sort of. Oh, uh, they knocked you out. Well, it's the race was going was going all right, and then I thought I'll I'll try the undercut, and because I thought he he might pit and try undercutting me, so I uh, I tried that after I finally got past him, and then VSC came out, and I just well when I lost the lead and that I got angry with myself that it happened, and just kept making silly mistakes, and just couldn't get back in my groove really. And, yeah, managed to catch him there near the end, but I needed like another 
lap or two to get him. Yeah, but then obviously the time penalty made things a little bit more difficult. But P3 is still respectable. Um, things were looking yeah. quite interesting in the championship at one point. When you were in P1 and old man's, it was down in P8. It would have been the gap would have been brought down to uh, just six points. But oh, it uh, would have been a lot closer if I hadn't had all the uh, all the issues last week as well. But uh, well. Next week's a new race. We'll Next week is a new race indeed. Take the and, I've got uh, today and it's a long season. We'll see where we, where we are at the end. How are you feeling about next week's race? Uh, honestly, I haven't checked the calendar. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, the race is Austria. Austria. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with Austria. I'm pretty decent there. Uh, but obviously everybody else will be pretty decent there as well, I would assume. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm rubbish around Austria, so maybe not. But we're going to move on to P2. Congratulations on P3. So, Mr. Neon. Uh, it says he's connecting, but cool, you can you can talk to me. Uh, so, how did the uh, how did you live that right? I think you qualified, was it P... Was it P8? P9? P7. And um, when you qualified P7, did you think you could get yourself up into P2? Or... Do you think you could have gone for a win if you hadn't have been holed up, or...? No? Oh well. <laughs> Well, I don't get much closer than P2, though, so congratulations on that one anyway. And, um, yeah, well done. So, uh, how are you feeling about Austria? Yeah. <laughs> we shall see indeed but congratulations on P2 and now we're going to move on to the race winner MT well done um, qualified first had a pretty good getaway managed to avoid all yeah. the carnage behind you yeah thank god I didn't even I didn't know what happened I, well I noticed that Rogue was in the wrong car and that threw me off completely yeah, yeah um, selected the wrong car somehow yeah Trust and then I just yeah just yeah, I just had a great start, really. I think it went. My, my start was probably the best start so far on this game. Uh, I've been, I've, I struggled quite a lot with my starts. I always seem to lose a position or two off the line. So I was really happy with my start to this race. I was just a bit gutted. I was hoping it was just stay, stay as BSC, a little bit gutted for the full safety car, but. I, I think mean, with the amount of carnage that was going on, there was no chance it was going to be anything but yeah. a safety car. There but I didn't actually... Five, la five cars damaged, one terminal, so... Uh, yeah, see, I was so busy going into trying to just focus on going into turn one ahead that I just didn't even... All of a sudden it was like, how is Quickwick behind me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh, Mick started P3, wasn't it? Was it P4? All right, we had both McLa yeah, well, yeah, both of McLarens were involved. But... Involved. But... Um, what was um, your um? What was your um? What was your thinking for uh, when? For, uh, when obviously, Quick Mick got the nine-second penalty. Nine-second penalty. Was that just like in the was bag, or was it a little bit like, worried okay. still? Yeah, I just. Yeah, it wasn't really a worry. It wasn't just, really a worry. Just keep the lines. Make your lines. Make your echoing really bad. Echoing really bad. Um, I just thought, you know, just, just keep it between the lines and just hope, like, just hope for the best, really. I, I, I kind of thought he was going to catch me at the end of the race. I was really starting to struggle on my tyres. Um, believe it or not, I absolutely hate Imola. I can't stand this track. <laughs> I'm normally awful at it. Um, but yeah, it was just, I was just focusing the whole time, just staying in between the lines. And I could see he kept making little mistakes. And at one point, the gap, I think I broke the gap up to about three seconds. 
And then I made a couple of like real bad mistakes on the really fast, like downhill to uphill right hander before the chicane. Yeah. And I, he just kept catching me. And I was like, I, I, I just knew that if I could just keep at least 10% uh, ERS every lap and use it down the start finish straight, I could probably just stay ahead of him. And but, that's uh, that's how it ended up going. So, <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on P1. How are you Thank feeling you about uh, about Imola? Uh, not Imola. Uh, Aust Austria. Austria. I think it's, it's same as everyone. I love the track. Like everyone's going to be good at it. I love the track. It was where I got my first win, so it'd be interesting to see what I can do this season. It's just not. It's just really nice to be back on the top spot and to get two wins in one season and not just be a one-win wonder. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, that gonna, will put you on. Uh, that will put you on fifty-five points with Rogue in Immortal. Uh, oh, yeah, did, did Immortal score points? I can't remember if Immortal. I've score still points, got actually. six points. I've still got six points to be added as well from Sprint Race. Okay, so I'm waiting for that. So it should be six. So yeah, that sh they go on. should have you overtake Immortal then, maybe. But if not, you'll be about the same sort of area of Immortal. Yeah. Um, do you think do you think you can do something for the uh, in drivers championship or? I'd like to try. It'd be yeah. it'd, it'd be nice, yeah. Because I've, I've I think only it's, really I think had the gap is twenty nine now, twelve manzi, so it's certainly doable. Yeah, I've I've only had one season where I competed for the championship, so it'd be nice to compete again this year or this season, should I say? Yeah, yeah it's, it's that's the thing. It still days. is early days. You know, I've not had the greatest of starts of the season you know I've, I mean although I've had two wins I've had two DNFs and one eighth place as well so well hopefully we get a little bit more of a championship battle because at the moment it seems to be everyone who starts getting in the championship battle then something <laughs> something bad happens to them a week later so I hope that doesn't happen for you and that we can have uh, something nice going Cheers. into Aust uh, Austria. And then it's Australia, so that's going to be a little bit confusing, but... So, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope for you guys' sake. Old Manzi hates it as well, but I'm going to end it there. Uh, I hope you can go... Uh, congratulations on the top three once again. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the race and I shall... I don't know if I'm streaming next week. Um, if not, I will definitely see you guys in Australia. So, goodbye and see you soon.